definitely. But that would have been a damn cool uh, pickup. We found some uh, VHSs for uh, some stupid money. $20. $20 for Princess Diana. Oh my god. 20 bucks, a celebration. Fuck me. <laughs> Another weekend strapped for time, but I'm heading on an hour drive and where I'm going is a good couple of op shops, thrift stores. Um, I like these two that I'm gonna go to and there's actually two more next door to them, so there's four. I've only got an hour to spare, but when you're a part-time reseller, an hour is enough. So basically I'm gonna be doing a quick thrift through these, maybe, definitely two, maybe four, maybe four but definitely two. So I've only got an hour before I've got to get to the actual destination I need to go to this weekend. But the question is, can you make money from just one hour on a weekend and that's it? Of course you can. Let's see what we'll find. Fingers crossed, this ain't gonna be no dog shit day. Let's do this. And here we go again to the good old Good Sammies. I love the Good Sammies where they have decent prices unless you have to go to their gold section because they take all the good stuff and chuck it in the gold section now the bastards uh, so always look for the scarves and the beanies um, 2018 member scarf I wasn't quite sure what team it was until I opened it and saw it was North Melbourne and I thought you know what we're gonna leave this here never usually get members scarves anyway pick those up they don't usually sell there's an actual knitted Docker's uh, scarf, I left that. Uh, Perf Glory one, not worth anything. You're kind of looking for the 90s ones with the old AFL logo or a VFL logo. Um, but uh, never heard of the Sea Eagles. I think that must be NRL. Uh, I like this Scarborough Football uh, Club scarf. There's nice colours on that, but uh, it's just local shit anyway. Eagles one, I wouldn't pick this up uh, if you paid me. Uh, but uh, yeah, had a look through here, nothing really uh, that I fancy. There was a One Direction scarf. Uh, would you have picked this One Direction scarf up? Um, yeah, I left that. I left that. So we have a look through the uh, old shirts. And there was a few good shirts here, but this store was dry today, and we've been having a dry run lately. There's some RM Williams, but they wanted $15. $15, I don't think so. Mario shirt, very tempted to wear that myself. Uh, brand new with tags, $20, it was brand new for 20, and they want 20! They want 20 for it, oh my god. No way, not happening. So uh, we get past all the uh, Manchester United stuff, because we always know in the red section there's Manchester United's or Bazing shirts. Uh, this was a nice Panthers, uh, some type of, I, I don't know what football club it is, but uh, I liked it. Some local shit. I didn't buy it though for $5 because it was a small kids one. Uh, if these ladies get out of my way, I can keep looking for the uh, shirts, but they'll too busy standing there talking. Uh, Bruno Mars uh, Tour T-shirt uh, from 2018. I left that. I left that, but um, I'm, I'm glad I left that because you'll see why. Because as I'm going through... Um, there's another one that I just uh, went past, another Bruno fucking Mars one, and there ended up being about six or seven Bruno Mars uh, concert shirts in there, so they must have got uh, donated a bulk load. Now, I left this behind. Am I an idiot for leaving this behind? Five dollars, a long sleeve Dragon Ball Z shirt. I'm kind of kicking myself now, I still haven't even looked up the comps to see if it was worth anything. Uh, because I don't want to torment myself in that way, but um, looking at it now, it's actually a decent shirt for $5, even if I wore that myself, so kind of spewing I left that. Uh, the toy section has been really dry lately. A lot. Of, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, there's a Yowie. This is cool. Uh, Yowie is cool, but I uh, did not grab him. Um, only Aussies would know what a Yowie is. But uh, has it just been baby toys lately? 
baby toys, baby toys, baby toys. Sale of the century there, four dollars. Didn't get that because I've brought it once before and uh, pieces were missing. Family Feud. This was from 1989. It's just that the one dollar is uh, written on there, and there's no way it would come off. There's no way that would come off. Uh, it was really, really, really soaked in to the cardboard. Really, really soaked into the cardboard. So I left that. Uh, was tempting though. Uh, I did find this Grover, Super Grover. Oh man, I love my Sesame Street from when I was a kid. Uh, Super Grover, usually plushes are 50 cents, but $4, $4, I don't think so. You can go back on the shelf, Grover. You're not coming home with me today, unfortunately. But that would have been a damn cool uh, pickup. We found some uh, VHSs for uh, some stupid money. $20. $20 for Princess Diana. Oh my god. 20 bucks, a celebration. Fuck me. Get back on the shelf, Diana. Alright, so we got a uh, Jordan uh, jumper here. 30 bucks. Oh my god. Make them eight dollars like all the other jumpers are. It's fucking, it's a nice jacket. I would have liked it for myself, but for thirty dollars, no fucking way, man. Like, come on, I'm I'm out of here. I didn't get anything from that store. That store can kiss my ass. Today it was shit. So we head over next door, more of an independent one. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought I got a uh, Mambo shirt there. Nearly died with a heart attack, but it wasn't unfortunately. So the shirt section was all right. Um, there was a few I didn't grab, like uh, Yui on ice, Yuri on ice. This kind of, I don't know, these Asian things uh, go all right sometimes, but uh, I left that, I left that, and the comps in my head just wasn't uh, working. It just wasn't working today. Um, Perth Scorchers, I'd normally pick something like this up, but I don't know, it felt like it looked, a, it was new with tags and they only wanted $9, but it seemed faded to me. I don't know if the, our black is always like that on the jersey, but uh, yeah, no, nah, it's not happening, not today. I did find this and I did pick this up when I was walking past the women's section. Um, Justin Bieber tour, uh, tour jumper, we don't know how much this is worth yet, so I'm going to look this up before uh, um, I go in and uh, film the show and tell so i'm curious to see what this is worth but um it's got all the different countries on the back uh that he went to and um yeah they they wanted an okay price seven dollars fifty um i'm pretty confident i'll get about 40 bucks for it but uh maybe 30. But justin bieber yeah we'll we'll we grab him found some videotapes um, so this is a different store to the first one, not $20 like the first store wanted Diana. Uh, they wanted a dollar each for these ones, except for the one tape that I found that I wanted, they wanted $2 for, and they can eat a dick for that. Uh, we're back to Dinosaur Story, would have been cool to have, but $2, get out of here! So it's not happening, but um, definitely not happening. But uh, yeah, these were these were crud, no crud tapes tapes and it, it makes me sad it makes me sad when I can't find a good uh, bunch of Buffy uh, tapes but um, I moved over to the other section where the other tapes were there was a few others BBC ones and um, what do I happen to find sitting over here to my right there's chitty chitty bang bang but uh, these were the 50 cent ones 50 cent tapes I should have brought that Christmas puppies one and put that aside for Christmas time because Christmas stuff sells uh, on tape. But looky what we got here. There's a Princess Diana videotape. Exact same one that they wanted $20 for. The thrift store next door was 50 cents. A $19.50 savings. Get it there. Get in there and go get it. There's this Def Leppard book. I really wanted to get this, but I just didn't get it because it was a library book. Uh, former library book. It was definitely worth getting for $2. Um, I don't even know if it was worth anything. If it wasn't worth anything on comps, uh, when I went to sell it, I would have just kept it and read it because I love Def Leppard. And it's all the 80s stuff in there as well. But 
Ah, uh, nah. Off to the salvos. So we go next door uh, for the uh, third and final store to the salvos. And yes, they are open. So head on in, we do. And uh, the prices are pretty steep in this store. I've never really had too much luck, but there is 50% of yellow. And uh, funny enough, there's fucking hardly any yellow tagged shirts in there at all. But I uh, find this uh, hanging up here, this Brady, um, Brady Patriots jersey. Uh, they wanted $11 for it. Um, lucky enough, I'm tall enough to uh, take the mannequin down off the wall. And um, <laughs> so I got him down. I don't think the lady was impressed that I could reach and pulled him down. But I did it anyway. As soon as I saw it was Brady, I was grabbing that. I was grabbing that. Um, I do hang it back up because I had to think about it before I did uh, purchase it, but uh, you'll see that later in show and tell. Uh, check these weird uh, jeans out. These must be motocross jeans. Um, stupid amount they wanted for them, $35. They weren't brand new. $35 for this as well. This was brand new. Would you have picked this up? Some motocross uh, shirt there. I did not get that. Um, but coming up, oh, there's a fake Dockers uh, jersey. But uh, what what I really want you to answer me this is, what year is this uh, Manchester United uh, football top? They wanted $13, and I wasn't going to risk $13 if it was just going to be a piss poor jersey, but I've never seen this before. Have you seen this before? Let me know in the comments what year that Manchester United jersey is. Uh, football top, uniform, whatever the fuck you want to call it in England. Uh, that's different. I've never seen that one before, but for $13, I just still couldn't even find anything on Cobb. So, uh, took a risk with this uh, Foo Fighters shirt, which I probably should have taken a risk with the uh, Manchester United one because <laughs> this isn't even a fucking tour shirt, just a Foo Fighters one. It is 7XL. 7XL. I've never seen a 7XL, so I had to buy it. Um, yeah, I had to get that. I'm still kicking myself over the Manchester one. I, I want to know. I want to know what year it was. There's an East Perth Royals uh, waffle uh, polo shirt. Unfortunately, they wanted a little bit too much. Um, I wasn't paying that amount of money when you're only going to get 25 bucks back, so it's definitely not worth worth it. And there's a ticker, and uh, oh yeah, no thank you, I'm not paying that. Fuck the prices, the prices are ridiculous. We're out of here, we're out of here. So I did three stores. Look, the prices in Perth are really starting to become ridiculous. But it's their shop, they can put whatever price they want on their items because that's what we do in our eBay stores. We put whatever price we want on our items as well, so we can't complain. So it was a bit of a dog shit day. Uh, unfortunately, I only got, uh, I think, four or five items, and I think it's mostly clothes as well. So join me in the shed. Should be a quick shed episode of Show and Tell. Show you everything that I got. Um, I think the uh, thrift stores are a little bit dry here in Western Australia at the moment, so I think I'm going to start doing some garage sales and markets uh, coming up because uh, we're getting a little bit dry at uh, these stores, so let's see what we can get for some of the uh, uh, next episodes that we do. We'll do some markets and uh, garage sales, but let's go to the shed. Let's go! Small pickup, but it's going to be a decent return, I think, on this lot. I did pay $27.50 uh, for my bread and butter stuff here. All these DVDs, $27.50. Um, shitload of DVDs. Like, all these ones and these ones here will end up getting lotted up in future lots. But there's some TV series in here as well, like Bates Motel and stuff like that, that we are going to lot up. And a lot of decent new ones as well that kind of only just been released like that new Adams Family cartoon. Stuff like that. So these lot up piles are going to be pretty good. Um, also there was heaps of, um, I don't know where all the other ones are now, there was like four different seasons of Stargate in there as well that I can lot up that I should get about 30 bucks for for all those uh, ones. I know I'll get about 10 to 20 dollars for this Danger Mouse season. Um, this is a sealed Batman, the animated series volume one. $15 every day. 
the incredible Hulk first season. There's 10 to 15. Some uh, Sons of Anarchy Blu-ray, they should go for $10 each. There's some more Stargate. And then lots of movies in there uh, with uh, three movies on that you usually get about $10 for. But these were good bread and butter pickups because I got the majority of the two and a half men. I got seasons one to eight there, so I should get about 40 bucks for that, maybe 50. And then I got a whole heap of Fraser TV series as well. Um, so I got seven of them. So that should go for about 40, maybe 50. Um, all up with all the ones that I can sell singly for $10. Um, and these lots and then the other lots that I'm going to do, I could probably get more uh, after when I finish what I do because there's some really good stuff in all there um, that I've picked out and newer modern stuff as well. I should get over $200 once all these sell all these different lots. Uh, so I'm just going to put $200 in the kitty but I'm pretty happy with all these lots from $27.50 from the bread and butter there. This was $7, but I took a risk. Um, it is 7XL, baby gorilla size. 7XL, I've never held out a 7XL shirt before. That is huge. Uh, Foo Fighters shirt with an owl on it. It is fucking cool. Whoever owned it, fucking hope you lost weight. Good on you if you did. And um, that's a fucking rocking shirt that you owned. Uh, I took a risk on it and was hoping that it was gonna be more, especially when you pay $7. But unfortunately, I can only get 30 bucks for that, so not a bad buy, but um, I could have got something else. Uh, I paid $5 for all these Forgotten Realms uh, books. Everyone knows Forgotten Realms, they're like the Dungeons and Dragons style. So there's seven of them there. I paid five dollars for the lot of them. They had a blacky band like that. Um, I should get fifty bucks, maybe even more, because uh, these are these go pretty good, and they're all the Forgotten Realms ones as well. So all fantasy books. Um, someone will pay fifty bucks for all these easily, easily. So might just get my money back and um, jump on fifty bucks for that one for the kitty. I got for a dollar, uh, this 2012 official yearbook of the Fremantle Dockers, my boys, my team. Um, this was the year before they made the grand final and lost it. I've picked up these many times before, 50 cents, one dollar. You always get 10, 10 to 15 dollars each time, so I'll put 10 dollars in the kitty for this one. I think I only get 10 dollars for this one, but um, that's, an easy, that's an easy 10 bucks right there. So I paid $7.50 for this uh, yellow Justin Bieber um, Stadium Tour hoodie. It is a hoodie. Stadium Tour hoodie. And it's pretty cool. It's tiny. It's tiny. Um, it's got all the places that he toured on the back there. All the places he's toured uh, for this tour. And $7.50, this will definitely be a $50 turnaround. Um, so I'll turn this into 50 bucks for uh, takeaway fees and what I spent and all that, but uh, not bad for a uh, Justin fucking Beaver shirt. And my favorite pickup of the day is a Patriots throwback jersey. Patriots throwback jersey, I did a lot of research on this because I was like, what the hell is that logo? Now, I'm not American, I don't know. Uh, that's not the Patriots logo I know, so apparently that's a throwback logo. Um, got Brady on the back, which always gonna help the uh, sale for it as well. It's an official NFL um, jersey. It's only a medium player's one. The uh, That tag's a bit crusty. Uh, but this is an official one. I did pay $11 for this. Got this down at the top. Um, I'm thinking I can get $100 plus for this because throwback stuff just normal throwback stuff like um, when I was looking on there for the Patriots was just going, a scarf was going for 60 bucks and $50 and selling and different throwback stuff was going at pretty good money. Uh, but there was no throwback Brady jersey, so um, it's just your basic basic one. So that should be definitely uh, 100 bucks or more, uh, guaranteed. I'm guaranteeing that. So that's pretty good. 
How many teams did fucking Brady end up playing for? Let me know in the comments. How many teams did Brady play for? Fuck it, Brady. You're a sellout. So I spent $59 at this op shop. 59 bucks. Uh, let's bring him up. Let's bring up the kitty. A kitty. Kitty. $59, man. We got a small amount of stuff. We got that Brady. We got that Brady jersey. It's gonna be good. Uh, we got a lot of DVDs that will add up when we uh, bulk lot those up. There's gonna be some good bread and butter. I love the boys. Good bread and butter, kitty. Uh, so those Dungeons and Dragons fantasy not realm books. How much, kitty? How much? Once it all sells, four hundred and forty dollars before fees, before taxes, before all that other mumbo jumbo bullshit. Oh, I'm tired after today. I'm tired. I need a drink. I've only got Pepsi Max. Always have Pepsi Max. I need some booze. I need some hard liquor. Get out of here, kitty. Fuck off, kitty. Fuck off. I need some hard liquor. Alright, uh, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're a part-time reseller or a full-time reseller, everyone knows that you can hit big just from one thrift. All you need is that effort of half a day, a couple of hours. Focus. Know your comps in your head. Do your research before you go out. Do your research during the week. Learn what other people are selling. Learn from other people's mistakes as well. That Foo Fighters was a mistake, but it will sell. I'm not gonna get much back. We all make mistakes, we're all human. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Click, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, do all that shit on all that, all that crap down there. See you.